Places like these kind of amaze me that there's so much life in a place that's quite small, really. <laughs> loans from the Chinese government. So China is helping out with their aid. Playing checkers, just killing it. It's a pretty cool angel statue here. Don't be hating the tourists, right? Don't be hating the tourists. Meow, 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 meow. That's its own litter box. You wouldn't be in a regular Latin American plaza without a guy with a megaphone. Aquí este grupo es famoso que more pigeons than people probably is my guess. <laughs> Welcome back to Generic Expats. It is June 26th, a Monday at 1.15 in the afternoon. I'm walking into what is the Liberty Plaza of the downtown San Salvador. This is, I think, what is the main downtown plaza. It definitely has the statue that I've seen most people show when they say, oh, I've been to San Salvador. So I'm going to give you a tour of this downtown area, the plaza, and the surrounding streets and markets that are around the area. Here is Libertad Union, the statue. The almighty famous statue. This does kind of remind me of pretty much any plaza in Latin America. <laughs> with the colonial architecture, with the arches surrounding the, the main plaza, and esta, esta estatua. This statue is that's quite nice, actually. I see a couple lions on the side here. Lion, lion here. <coughs> And then the lion here. The actual full bodied lion. And here we have an important figure. I'm not quite sure who that is because I didn't research any of this <laughs> before coming here. And from what it looks like, the top seems to be an angel. Let's walk around and keep checking out the main square. No, no soy. Es la bandera nada más. <laughs> there we have the yeah. statue from the from the from the front. It must look way, way better where the tourists are. Yeah, should have done. <laughs> the lady behind me was uh, looking at my hat and she said, "Hey, are you from Mexico?" And I said, "No, I mean this is my Mexico." hat, my Mexican flag hat, that's it. I like Mexico a lot. She's like, oh, okay, I like your hat. So here we have Portal Sangria, oh, San, San, Sangrera, Portal Sangrera. Oh. Not sure what that means. The angel over here seems to be facing what is the church? El Rosario. Okay, this is quite a weathered building, that's for sure. Looks like they have the original stairs going up to the bells. All right, yeah, okay. Interesting. Oh, this is, seems like it's still a functioning church. I see someone just went out the front door. And there is a horario para visitas, huh? If the tourists like me want to visit, I guess we can. It's closed right now for lunch, I guess. Monday to Friday, closed from noon until two. Okay, so it is a tourist spot, I didn't realize that. It is a cool looking church, that's for sure. 
maybe I'll come back if I have time before I leave for Peru. There we have the statues. And the church itself is quite beautiful. Now let's go back to the iconic angel statue, Dios. 15 de noviembre. That must be the day of the independence. Independence Day, 5th of November. Which I think was an independence day in many places in Latin America. Yes. And then we have the classic millions of pigeons eating tortillas or whatever they're eating. Yeah, here you go. The classic angel. It's a pretty cool angel statue here. And getting closer we see Nicolás Vigente and Manuel de Aguilar. Uh, cool statue. Well, you wouldn't be in a regular Latin American plaza without a guy with a megaphone, probably talking about religion, I guess. Okay, well, time for me to take my tourist picture <laughs> and then move on to the, uh, the nearby markets. Have you always wanted to check out Latin America, but you felt it was too risky because it was too dangerous and you don't have any contacts there? Are you looking to go to an exotic tropical place, such as climbing a mountain or a volcano? Or are you looking to catch some sun on the beach? Or go on a boat tour? Here at Generic Expats, we offer generic tours to give you that safety, security, and that helpful connection with me to be able to do these tours with no fear. Follow along on genericsworld.net and you can see where I am and book a tour for the following locations as I'm driving south on my motorcycle through Latin America. Well, I did my mandatory statue selfie as you should as anyone should <laughs> when going to a downtown area of a new city new country having a little a little way to remember that is a good way to do it she's watching me <laughs> you always have the locals watching and the ones that are watching I always tend to give them a little wave or a smile so now I'm looking at my, where my bike is and there's a, a taxi there. Hopefully there's no problem with my, my, my bike there. Anyways, I'm going to walk through this uh, market right outside of the <coughs> main plaza here. So got the uh, Princesa right here. They said it's not a big deal, so <laughs> should be fine. Take a look at some of the places that are serving. I think we've got some drinks, some corn drink, I think it's called a tole. Some, some beans <laughs> on bread. Some coffee. I was just talking to where I'm staying in my Airbnb to the owners about how the coffee situation here is pretty much always like this instant coffee on the street. There's not like a very very um, easy access to cheap coffee to make it freshly and sell it cheaply on the street. That's not really a thing. Of course, we have the bags of individually cut up fruit, which is nice. Some shoe shiners. Gotta have the shoe shiners. Lots of shoe shiners. This must be Shoe Shiner Street. And phone fixing street. There we have a couple stores that are for selling your things. Pawn shops, you call them. 
some more phone related stuff. Oh man, it's hot. Here is the main supermarket that I go to while living here in El Salvador, Super Selectos. It's kind of like the upper scale supermarket. Everything is quite a bit more expensive than on the street, but it has everything in one place. <laughs> I specifically like Super Selectos because it has the wine that I like drinking. There's like literally no no wine anywhere and they don't even have a good selection. It's terrible, but and it's expensive, but it's more than nothing. So that's what uh, that's what I'm dealing with now. <laughs> it looks like we have some hot dogs or something. There's a lot of construction going on. Minnesota! Is the Minnesota okay? No, You'll see. There you go, Minnesota man. Here we got tons of construction going on over here. And now we're walking into Preparación de Relojes. Got a watch reparation, watch fixing area. Oh, here is the main church, it seems. There is really lots of construction going on in downtown San Salvador. Looks like that is a means of progress. That is good, good news, good news. When you talk to anyone from here about President Bukele, the new president, uh, the guy that's currently running the country, everyone has great things to say. And that looks like uh, good news to me. The safety and security that people talk about now that they love. That's all due to him. So, way to go, Bukele. It's really, uh, that's really good. It's really good work that you've done. And uh, I'm really enjoying hearing everyone talk so positively about a politician. That's not very common in Latin America. We have another tourist spot, I guess. Palacio Nacional, National Palace, here. With the sign of the country. Here's the main, the main church, El Salvador del Mundo. Ah, I missed the, I missed the statue in the middle as I was walking. Here's the statue, a la memoria de Benemerate, uh, Capitan General, some Captain General on a horse. Yeah. Gerardo Barrios is the captain general, famous captain general. Looks like a Spanish colonizer, Spanish general. Yeah, there you go. Let's go check out the church over here. Salvador del Mundo. Pretty sweet. Church is very, very big. Not particularly beautiful architecture, but it has a really fresh new look to it. And the Jesus on the front door. It's kind of a hey, almost tripped on that. Almost uh, quite a good sculpture. Really good sculpture. It's cool. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go back to the National Palace and then circle around to check out a bit more of the street markets before I go back to my bike. This downtown area is always bumping. It is full of people. More pigeons than people probably, is my guess. <laughs> There's absolutely hundreds of pigeons on this, uh, in this area alone. So yeah, I'm gonna take my, my mandatory picture, of course. Don't be hating the tourists, right? Don't be hating the tourists. You gotta take the mandatory picture of the, of the uh, names that are three-dimensional in front of nice objects and nice buildings. Something I'm definitely noticing when I walk around the streets, I hear a lot of people speaking English. And it seems like, if I were to guess, I have no information, this is just my theory, is that there's a lot of, of the Salvadorians that have been living abroad for however many years to escape the violence and crime here. 
that a lot are coming back at least to visit and to check out how the country is working now with this new president and with this uh, new <laughs> style of living without fear. So one thing I wanted to point out, the construction project. Um, right here it says Proyecto de la Biblioteca Nacional de El Salvador con la Asistencia de China. So China is helping out with their aid. My guess is this is uh, with the Chinese uh, funds, loans from the Chinese government to have uh, them participate <laughs> in the, the development of the country and also help China extend their reach. Tons of hammocks here. Quanto vale la maca, amigo? 45. 45 Okay. Son todos de 45 o qué? No. La de Lona 23. 23 es esta. Ah, okay. El esta pista sí a 15. Ah, 15. Oh. Yeah. Es como de plástico, ¿no? Plástico, ¿no? Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, mira. Yeah. ¿Y esta es de aquí? La uh, de Jersey, 23. 23. Muy bien, gracias. Hey, gracias, hermano. Tienes unos reasonable precios de hammocks back there. A couple of vendors were vendedores estaban vendiendo eso, así que tuve que sacar el scoop para ver lo que estaba pasando. Hay un parking lot. ¿No me dices More hammocks. It's like Hammock Street almost. <laughs> Lots of hammocks. Here's a massive hammock store. Just pure hammocks. Las mejores hamacas. Here's some hats. I wish I could find a hat with the Salvadorian flag. Hey, amigos, tienen una gorrita con la con la bandera salvadoreña. ¿Dónde está? Yo tengo la gorrita con la bandera de México. Busco la bandera de tu país. Eso no es, ¿no? Yo creo que... El Salvador. Pero digo acá la bandera como no, yo tengo de México. No, no, no se venden. No, 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 ¿Existen aquí o qué? No. ¿Han, han visto eh, una así? No, pero... Casi, ¿no? Ahí por la galería. Por la galería. Muy bien, gracias. Gracias. Here we got some <laughs> gym gloves, toys. I was asking about the hats. One thing I've been really wanting to do, as I'm a kind of a hat nerd, a, a um, baseball cap nerd, is I like having these caps to protect my head from this tropical sun. And I like having the, the flag of whatever country I'm in. I'd like to, I tried to get one in Guatemala, couldn't find one. No hats had the flag from Guatemala. And I asked them for the for one hat that would have the Salvadorian flag, Salvadorian flag, whatever you call it. And, I, and they said, no, we don't have that. Maybe you can find it in the uh, central shopping mall, the actual mall. So that's a bit disappointing. Here we got Fresco de Horchata. Señorita, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué más tienes ahí, la, la otra? ¿Qué es? Chan. ¿Chan? Chan con limón. ¿Qué es chan? Una semillita. ¿Vale 35 también? Lo mismo vale. ¿Tiene mucho hielo o qué? Hielo lo echan los de una ¿Me das uno, por favor? ¿De cuál es, quieres? Es, chan, chan, o... chan, ajá. Es una fruta, dice. Es una semillita. Una semilla. Una semilla. Es, es dulce la, la bebida. No, sí, es dulce. Sí. sí claro. por, la, por, por el azúcar. Sí, sí. <risa> bueno, voy a confiar. Hay que confiar. Fresco de horchata. I don't want the horchata. is basically the rice, rice milk. Chan. ¿Cómo se escribe? Chan y limón. ¿Cómo se escribe chan? C H A N. Sí. Okay. Chía, chía le dice. Mm. Ajá. Y en español es chan. Chía, chan. Chía, sí. Mm. Y limón. 
Está rico, está rico. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Ana. Ana. Buen juguito que tienes. It has recently come to my attention that I have not given the proper introduction to tell you why my videos and my information is so useful. You see, I've been traveling since 2013 nearly non-stop. Many of it has been within Asia and Latin America. I spent five years in Vietnam. And just five years ago, I started my full-time lifestyle as the digital nomad that I am today, where I spent at least one month in the following countries. Argentina, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, Guatemala and El Salvador. And in this time, I've been doing everything that I've been bringing to my channel here at Generic Expats. Now what this means is that I've been arranging my own accommodation and tasting the local cuisine, checking out the cost of living, looking for entertainment options, checking to see if these places are dangerous, learning how the weather is, and just the overall well-being of a foreign expat living in each one of these new cities. I am walking back to my bike. I am so hot, <laughs> sweating so much. I got a uh, drink from Anna, which was what she called chan con limon. And I think she said it was a chia seed, from what I understood, with, with lime juice or something. I don't really know. And now, making my way back, maybe I'll do another road, walk through another street before I finish this little downtown San Salvador walking tour. Yeah, I guess I'll take the long way around. <clears throat> mm. I'll take this way, back. All right, well, this is obviously right next to this construction site. Oh, uh, okay. I have a student that always sends me, shows me a picture of one of these singers. Este cantante, esos cantantes son BTS. No los conocí. Como se ven. Aquí este grupo es famoso o qué? Sí, los los escuchas tú? No. Gracias. Chao. All right. Well, everyone's having their lunch. It looks like. Ooh, here's a standard lunch area. Looks like you have some rice, meat. I don't know if there's any. Buenas tardes. ¿Cuánto vale el almuerzo aquí? No, 50. ¿Qué incluye? Eh, la porción de leche servida, arroz, ensalada y tortilla. Solamente eso. Ah, que okay. no tienen frijoles, ¿no? Ah, no. Dale, gracias. So it's $2.50 for one portion of meat. Either pork, looks like beef, um, ground beef, looks like chicken. Pretty big chicken, actually. And some chicken here as well. It all actually it looks really good, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if I should bring that home or not. I could eat that for dinner after my lunch today. Uh, no, better after. Here's some papusas. Papusas de qué? Con carne, ¿eh? Eso qué es? Queso. Ah, oh, mira, queso y frijol. Oh, here's the famous pupusa. ¿Cuánto valen? ¿Tres por un dólar? Okay.
There's a donut shop. Not really big on sweets, but it smells really good. Checking out some cakes and donuts. I'm not into that stuff really, so that's not not gonna be my stop. My start of this. All right, well, here's another street that has tons of shops. This is the street I got lost on trying to find the bus station, the bus stop where I'm going to be taking the bus to my, to the airport. Here we got a nice vegetable stand here. Lots of, probably most of what you need to make a good meal. Baked goods here, looks pretty good. It's like a local mall with some food inside. Probably pupusas. Some clothing shops here. Random toys and plastic stuff. Some more pupusas here. We need a pupusa person. Pupusaria. Pupusera. Okay. Three for one dollar. Pupusas. Okay. I need to find my way to my bike. I believe it's going to be this way. Let's follow the construction trail <laughs> back. What a great name for a store here. Madness. American clothes. Madness. Wow. Here we have a bike, a motorcycle shop. Looks like they mostly have Chinese and Japanese. Indian. ¿De dónde es la Osaka? ¿Es de India o de dónde? Japonesa. ¿Es japonesa? Hmm. Interesante. No conozco esta marca. Osaka. Ah, son las únicas motos que tienen. Son estas dos. ¿Perdón? Son las únicas motos de aquí. Son estas. Las que tienen acá, pero... Pura, pura bici. Ah. Yeah, lots of bikes. Oh, I was thinking they'd have more motorcycles. Definitely not a convenient pl place to sell anything. <laughs> this crazy wall blocking everything out. Hard to get a bike out if you even bought it. Girl with a parrot. <laughs> she loved it. Little parrot on her arm. Fucking just loving life. I believe so. Yes, I believe so. We have the hot dogs. I don't know. What is this? It's crema. 
Jamón. Jamón y queso. Y mayonesa. Mayonesa y jamón. Ah, ¿Cuánto vale? 35. 35. Ah, ok. Mm, interesante. French fries here. Those, um, those bread buns were, were 35 cents, three for a dollar, which had some ham and may mayonnaise. Looked okay. Decent snack. Not super healthy, but something to keep you, keep you uh, tidied over if you're going to have a big meal. Uh, that's, that's when I would eat it, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we are on the right path back to La Princesa. Not sure if they said hello to me or to who. <laughs> I heard, hola amigo. All right, well, I believe I have some lunch waiting for me, so I'm gonna make my way back. This is the downtown area of San Salvador, including the statue, the famous statue. And uh, there are tons of food stalls around this area. I could show a little bit of what the food options are just to give it a more rounded look. Princess is waiting for me here. Comedor Copusarilla. Oh, Ninja! Ooh, we don't see big bikes like this too often. Oh, nice. Sport bikes are pretty uncommon. Most of the bikes that you see in San Salvador and most of Latin America are like these small 150s, 125s. Indian, Chinese, and sometimes Japanese, small Japanese Hondas and Yamahas. Yeah. Okay, looks like we don't have much for food on the outside like I was expecting. Boxer and Yamaha. Yeah. Probably we could go inside this little market before we finish. Why not? There's a little Honda here, maybe 125. Pretty sweet bike. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Must be the street cat. Belongs to everyone. Has its own litter box. Let's check out what's inside here. Looks like mostly tools. Tools and... Ooh, I just ran into something right here. Ow. Like, it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is mostly, uh, looks like electronics. Maybe places to repair broken electronics, mostly. Well, I guess buy some new ones. These guys are playing video games. Tons of blenders. There's tons of Disney going on over here. Disney and Disney. Uh, not really much. That, I was thinking there would be food, but I really don't see much. It's mostly like an area to repair broken, broken electronics and broken machines. And, up here are some food areas. To be honest, places like these kind of amaze me that there's so much life in a place that's quite small really. <laughs> but in the end, tons of people are working, they're fixing things, they're eating over here, like behind me, tons of places to eat. I'm walking into a spot that has also lots of places to eat over here. It's just lots of uh, <laughs> lots of things going on at the same time. Yeah. Here we got the walking around, checking things out. Transit police. Okay, well, this is gonna finish up my day, I believe. Veg. Got some food here as well. Okay guys, well that is the 
downtown walking tour. Look at that playing checkers. Just killing it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the walk around and if you're enjoying the content I'm delivering, albeit very basic and very daily life, please uh, punch a little the subscribe on the bottom there and uh, comment because I really would love to have your support in continuing this channel. Peace.